Greetings, and welcome to this episode in the series of videos on LiDAR with ArcGIS Pro. This series is brought to you by AmericaView, in partnership with the College of Natural Resources and Environment at Virginia Tech, the Virginia Cooperative Extension, and GeoTED UAS. I'm Cherie Auckland, and I'll be your guide. In the previous chapter, we used the web to find local, state, and international LiDAR, and we briefly introduced the National Map Viewer. This video demonstrates techniques for using the National Map Viewer to locate and download LiDAR data. Let's begin at the National Map Viewer website. On the right side is the interactive Map Viewer and some search tools. You may already be familiar with the meaning of these kinds of tools, but let's review. Plus is Zoom In. Minus is Zoom Out. And you can also use your mouse wheel for zooming. Home returns to the full extent of the United States. Reload will reload the map. The trash can is used to delete any results displaying in the viewer. The square and point bubbles are used for searching. We'll get to those in a minute. On the left side is the listing of products available. For LiDAR data, check the box in front of Elevation Source Data. This shows the products available, and if LiDAR Point Cloud is not already selected, go ahead and check that box. Now let's show availability to show the coverage area for different types of LiDAR Point Cloud data in the Map Viewer. The Availability legend explains the color coding of the products shown on the map. We want LPC, or LiDAR Point Cloud, products, the last four shown here at the bottom of the legend. Let's narrow down our search to Mesa County, Colorado. We can search in a few ways, but let's start with an address by typing Mesa County, Colorado in the Address Place box and clicking Go. Here we see the map viewer has zoomed to the location of a point in Mesa County. Click on Find Products. Your results will appear in the Products tab. Here, just one tile, the tile corresponding to the single point in the map viewer. Let's try an alternative search using the current extent of the map. Clear the point, check the current extent radio button. You don't have to be precise here. We're not going to download data yet. Click the Find Products button. We get more than 25 pages of tiles. We need to narrow down a bit more. So let's try a third search using the box point option. Choose box point, then click and drag to draw a rectangle on the map. And find products. We still have quite a large number of results. Your results will depend on how large a box you drew on the map. Let's try using coordinates to define an area of interest. First click on the trash can to delete the box from the map viewer, then go back to the full extent. Choose the coordinates radio button. In this dialog box, enter the coordinates in decimal degrees and choose Draw AOI. Now you see the map viewer has zoomed to the area of interest bounded by your coordinates. This still is a pretty big area. Choose Find Products, and we again have many tiles returned. Go back to full extent. Now let's take a closer look at available products for a different location using the box button. Search for San Luis Valley, Colorado using Address Place. Clear the point and use the box button below the trash can to draw a box around an area a little larger than the point. Then find products. Don't worry if the results look just a bit different. Your search area will not likely be the same as mine. You can still follow along. Let's examine the first product in the list. Click on Footprint. See the little blue box in the search area? That's the location of this individual tile. Below Footprint is Zoom To. Click that to zoom into the footprint location. Clicking Thumbnail right below Footprint shows a JPEG of the LiDAR point cloud for the coverage area. Zoom back out a little to show the area of interest again. You can display multiple tile locations by clicking on the footprint for each tile. 
our last search method is useful when you have the unique identifier for a specific LiDAR tile. Let's use a known identifier to search. I'm going to copy an identifier from our list for this demo. Now go to the Datasets tab and choose Advanced Search Options. Enter the unique identifier and Find Products. The result is the one LiDAR tile with that unique identifier. That was our last search technique and ends the chapter on using the National Map Viewer download site. In the next chapter, we'll use the National Map Viewer and these techniques to download tiles for data we'll use in future chapters.